Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And um, I picked up a can of Devonian cider, farmhouse cider, in a can. Uh, and I drank it a couple of films ago, two, three films ago, maybe. Didn't go crazy for it, truth be told. But while I was in said supermarket where I bought said can, I picked up another bottle as well. M&S Food Hall it was. Don't normally shop there, just happened passing by. Picked up some stuff, so what have we got? Well, it's in sort of like a M&S um, &S branded bottle, I think, basically. But it says Somerset Oak Matured Cider, and it is from Sheppies in Somerset. Matured in oak casks, vats, pardon me, oak vats, bit different, they're much bigger. Full bodied, medium dry, and bursting with character. Medium dry, that's what it said on the other one, didn't it? Expertly blended for Marks and Spencer's 7.4. Bit of a beast, this one. Don't always like that, to be honest. I suspect it's going to be a bit cloyingly sweet for me, which these sort of bigger, sort of larger producers seem to make ciders that I find a bit cloying. And I've got a sweet too. Ending on the back, about the cider, British bittersweet cider apples are pressed and fermented using natural yeast and slowly matured milk vats. I mean, that sounds good. That sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, Chris, that does sound good. Glad you agree. Right. Shall we open it? Yes, please, Chris. All right. Oh, hang on. Ingredients. I always like reading the ingredients. Apple juice. Water. Sugar. Carbon dioxide, so false carbonated. Acid, malic acid. Preservative, E223. Sulfites. And yeast. Mm. So it says they're adding yeast. Confused. Sounds like it was wild yeast, and then it sounds like it wasn't using natural yeast. I don't know. What... Are they, are they listing the natural yeast on the ingredients? Not sure that's necessary. Let's open it and find out what it's like. Pop. Not too much fizz. Smoking gun though. Just see a little bit of little bit of gaseous vapour. <sighs> Coming out of the bottle. Let's have a look what colours it's going to be. It's quite light. Quite light. So 7.2%. It's been watered. Back. Has it been made from concentrate? I mean, it's seven point two percent, and they've added water. At what point have they added the water? Unless it was to, unless it was, the, from the, you know, they did that to, to create the concentrate from something that been in oak vats, etc. Then watered it back to create this, which would kind of make sense to some degree because they're probably selling this like all year round. So to get a sort of volume, you're going to ferment it from a con from a from a concentrate. But it says, yeah, I don't know. A lot of questions floating around in my head at the moment. Very few answers. You can probably tell. Shall we just try it? Yeah, sorry, let's just try it. Actually, colour first. Oh, it's quite warm at the moment. So condensation. And the other side. I've had Sheppies before. I thought it was alright, actually. So quite pale gold as well. Um, for something which is fully sort of uh, cider apples. But still looks quite nice. Nice bright gold. I presume it's filtered as well. Not too carbonate by the looks of it, which is a good thing. We like that. I was at... Um, Turner's this morning, talking to uh, Phil Turner, telling him how much I did like the carbonation in his uh, ciders. And he said, actually, when he first sold it, they were all still. Everything was still. He didn't like sparkling cider. He didn't like still cider. And then he had a cider from, I can't remember who it was. It might be Wise Owl. I might be talking about something else when he mentioned that. But anyway, he mentioned the cider that he'd had. And the carbonation was great. Just right. Very delicate. And I said to him, that, you know, it was great. And I said, the text of cream soda you got off it was fantastic. And he said, yeah, he was very pleased with that compliment, I think. Uh, but that's exactly what he was going for. And he nailed it. He does a really good job. But enough about that. Let's smell this. Okay. Um, there is rich, sweet apple. Quite concentrated apples. Almost a greenness about it as well. Like a leafy green character. Which I don't mind, if I'm honest. Hint of like baked, that sort of baked character you get, a sort of slightly caramelised character. Not a toffee, but you know what I mean. Yeah, pleasant nose. Smells quite rich. Um, let's see what it's like. So actually, yes, very sympathetically carbonated. And I appreciate that. I really do. That's good. That's good. It doesn't need any more. Just that little bit of prickle just lifted. It's brilliant. Um, there is quite a rich apple character. There's a hint of like butter. 
so I'm thinking what not like diacetyl hint of um sort of vanilliness. I said in oak, but oak vats, and I suspect they're quite old oak vats. I'm not quite sure how much oak, you know, character they're gonna give to this, um, if any. Um but it does have a slightly buttered apple character. It's quite rich, quite intense. But actually, you know what? I think I prefer this to the Thatchers and the Westerns. It isn't quite as cloying. It's actually... What's the tannin like? I mean, it is a little bit. But not too much. Bit of minerality, which is nice. Not too sweet, which is good. I mean, medium dry, though. I mean, I want to say no. I mean, based on the dry side as I sell, I would say, no, this is not medium dry because it's quite a lot sweeter than the dries, you know. Um, and for me, I'd say this is a medium. I would. A decent medium, though. Not too sweet, but a decent medium. Hides at 7.2 quite well, I must say. Um, but yeah, there's like a slightly buttered, vanilla, rich, aged apple character in this, which I find quite pleasant, to be honest with you. I do. Um, this isn't bad. And I've had shapes before and thought, that's not bad. So actually... This, you know, the, that, that it follows from the other things I've had from them. Uh, so if I was offered this and the Thatcher's Vintage and the Western's Vintage, I think I'd take this. I mean, I'd still rather have the Western's Wildwood or the Thatcher's Rascal over this. You know, one's 4.5%, one's ooh, not much more than that. That's 5 5 or 6%, 6% maybe. Um, this is 7.2%. Oh, it's vintage, 2019 vintage as well, actually, it says in here. See, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's a lot of questions arising based on the description and then the ingredients and stuff like that. So I'm not quite sure how they've got to this stage. But you know what? It's all right. It's actually all right. I don't mind it. Um, I wish it was a bit lower in alcohol. Uh, it's quite rich. I couldn't drink too many of them. I probably one's probably enough. But having said that, yeah. So, beats the bloody Devonian one from Sanford, hands down, I must say. Easily. So if you're in, if you're in a M and S and you see a can of the farmhouse Devon one and you see this, this is this is the one the one to pick. In my opinion, my humble opinion. All right, guys, thank you for joining me back in my shed. I hope you join me again. But until then, cheers.